are the three lungs of Earth. Forests provide food and pure water for millions. Hello, I am Min Kang. Welcome to Kang Knows a Home of Night. Forests are more than just trees. They provide habitats for all kinds of plants, animals, and even humans, and protect the overall health of all the life forms on the planet. It's time to explore one of the planet's most fascinating habitats and learn about forests. That's also why this episode is so, so special. As you can see, behind Kang is kind of a real forest, actually. Number one. Wait, what's a forest, anyway? Land covered with a hundred trees may not be called as forest. Hundreds of definitions of the word forest are used throughout the world, incorporating factors such as tree density, height, land use, legal standing, and ecological function. The United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization, or the FAO, defines a forest as land spanning more than 0 0.5 hectares of trees higher than 5 meters and a canopy cover of more than 10% of trees able to reach these thresholds in C2. It does not include land that is predominantly under agricultural or urban land use. Other areas spanning more than 0 0.5 hectares of trees can be called wooded land. Number two, forests are home to eight in ten species. Trees existed over 300 million years ago, turning the earth into a prosperous habitat for birds and animals. Even our aboriginal ancestors lived and fed on trees. 80% of the earth's land animals live in forests. A square kilometer of forest may be home to over 1,000 species, and many of which are still undiscovered. Today, we don't live in forests anymore, but we cannot live without them. Number three. There are three major forest zones divided based on the distance from the equator, tropical, temperate, and boreal. Although all forests are primarily composed of trees, because of climate, height, and soil quality, they can look very, very different. For example, the forest in Vietnam and the ones in America is very different, actually. I already have a list of top 10 forests that I really, really want to go, whether it's because of biodiversity, climate, or something else. How about you? Share with me if you have any plans. Number four, forests are the green lungs of Earth. Forests are given the name green lungs of the Earth because they absorb an enormous amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. They are vital for survival and thus protecting a forest is very crucial if you are to defend the diversity of forests and fight global warming. Number five, Forests provide food and pure water for millions. Wow, do you know that globally 1 billion people rely on wild food, including meat, insects, plants, mushrooms, and fish? Forests also provide relatively pure water, not just for indigenous people, but also for some of the world's largest cities. One third of the world's cities get all or part of their drinking water from forest protected areas, including Bogota, Jakarta, Karachi, Madrid, Mumbai, and Singapore. Amazing, right? Number six. Forests produce life saving medicines. Yes, this fact is truly justified. More than half of life-saving medicines come from the cornucopia of plants, shrubs, and trees. Wow! Another surprising fact for Kang. Over three quarters, or 75% of outside cancer drugs, originated from plants and other natural sources in the rainforest. From heart disease, blood pressure, 
diabetes, dysentery, diabetes, etc. Forest plants can cure many diseases. With the help of nature-derived medicines, you can treat more than 90% of the medical conditions known to humankind. The trees are not only beautiful, they are vital for the survival of life. Number 7. South American Amazon is the forest of all forests. Amazon is the undisputed number one and probably the most famous forest on Earth. With its fabulous 5,500,000 square kilometers, it shares a location with nine countries. If it were an independent country itself, it would be the ninth largest in the world. It's home to one in ten species existing on Earth. The forest floor is almost completely black, as only 1% of sunlight can make through the thick canopy. When it rains, it takes about 10 minutes for the water to seep through to the shrubbery below. I have checked some tours to discover Amazon from Manaus, Brazil. I hope to have a chance to come there soon. Number 8. Do you know that Vietnam's natural parks and nature reserves offer tremendous diversity? Vietnam has some 1,534 known species of amphibians, birds, mammals, and reptiles according to figures from the World Conservation Monitoring Center. Of these, 8.2% are endemic, meaning they exist nowhere else, and 7.9% are threatened. Vietnam is also home to at least 10,500 species of vascular plants, of which 12% are endemic. Wonderful diversity. The north is rich in staggered red terraces that shift with the seasons, endemic megafauna, and the biggest dots of life. The center boasts the world's largest caves and the country's loudest waterfalls. In the south is home to mangrove forests and exotic wildlife. You don't need to travel anywhere to see the wonderful diversity. You just need to stay here and travel our beloved country Vietnam and it could take us our whole lives. Number 9. Do you know about Global Forest Watch? Forest lovers should know about this website. Not changed since 2014, Global Forest Watch allows anyone from anywhere to assess near real-time information about forests creating transparency about what is happening in forests around the world, including Vietnam. You can visit Global Forest Watch website to find information about forest change, fire, deforestation, tree loss, and how many of these reported in your area. This website is very informative, easy to use, and especially free, so Kang really likes it. Number 10. What can the average person do to help you from deforestation? Many. Yes, so, 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 so many. If you really want to do something, you'll find a way. For example, go digital. Use double-sided paper. Think twice before you print. Trees are cut down for paper. Therefore, the less you print, the fewer trees are cut down. In the long run, it should really add up to a lot of safe trees. Well, the sun is setting down and the day is closing to an end. It's also the end of today's video. See you in the next episode. Hang nice, a home of knowledge. Bye.